So I put black plastic bags underneath um, just to protect the carpet. I'm going to replace this carpet anyway, but in the meantime, until the new carpet comes, whenever I have money for a new carpet, instead of spending it on this, um, I don't know if I mentioned, but I'm also vegan for the last 20 years. So yeah. So let's see if this old stuff actually works. Yeah, the, the top has some stuff on it that I don't know if it's promising or not. But we're gonna we're gonna try and use this again. Just gonna see if it actually still works. So there's a skin on it. I'm hoping this is just a skin that that, that has dried. It appears so, which is good. Because this would be a lot of stuff to waste. I'm gonna throw that in there. And this out of the way. So the rest looks pretty promising. So yeah, it is coming out very nicely. I don't know if it's gonna go through the canvas or not, so we're just gonna keep it to the main part. And we're splashing it about with a brush, I know. Um, it's an old brush though, so it's okay. And again, I'm trying to make this pretty good. This raw canvas as well. And I had to buy the canvas because you just you, you don't really normally get raw canvas. Like sometimes you get canvas boards in charity shops, but you don't normally. Yeah, because my mom works in a charity shop. Um, she doesn't get paid a lot. Like she only gets paid the extra twenty a week. Uh, on top of the dolls. That's like basically 220, it's not a lot. But it's just like a government scheme thing. But again, my family aren't like rich. They're not rich at all. They're super poor. You better be careful because these these pants I actually got for Christmas as a present from people, so I should be careful. So I don't even know if I'll have enough of this to cover the amount of canvas I've already gotten. I'm going to have to get like two more um, amount, like, like I think I got six meters. I'm even going to need another 12 meters basically of canvas to make this paint pot. Which means a lot more of this stuff I'll need to cure it. And this will dry tra pretty transparent so we're not worried about the colour or the streaks or any of that stuff. So um this is just I just thought you guys should see the opening part of the channel. Um what I do most days <laughs> when I have the money, like again this is a lot of Christmas money I got off people. Um that I'm able to do this because again I don't have a lot of money. Like sometimes I'll use my own money to get paint and stuff. Um but the paint I use is quite expensive, like twenty euro, twenty one euro per tube. So I use the Windsor Newton um acrylic professional grade one. Yeah. Which I think I think the pigment count is quite high. It's quite good. It's got it's, you get a lot of use out of it. So I'm just gonna see does this go through because that will make a difference in how we can actually do this. It doesn't appear to be going through, which is good. So that means I'm not gonna necessarily need to worry too much about it going through to the carpet. But I said I'd put some plastic down just in case. Because again I haven't bought from this fabric shop before on Etsy. Um so I'm just kind of learning, shall we say. I'm gonna go closer to the camera in a second. And I'm trying to spread this out because I don't think we're gonna need a lot to give it some toot. To give it a bit of but I want it to be even. And I'm not necessarily necessarily saying that, you know, what I'm gonna be drawing on it is going to be super um like realism or realistic it's going to be kind of an outline of me doing different pole poses um, 
I don't want to say too much because I want to kind of keep it as a surprise about what's going to happen with this because number one is for a competition in October and number two it's going to be something that until October I really don't want people copying it. <laughs> yeah, like I, I don't want people being inspired by things but after I have revealed it as my competition piece so I kind of want that again I first competition I didn't win anything the second competition I got third um so I, I'm really proud of that um and then the I'm gonna try and enter professional level for my for my third competition um well just because I won third in um uh, kind of advanced um so I want to kind of do like high level advanced yeah and I kind of want to because now I'm a qualified instructor you kind of have to even though I'm not teaching yet I intend to teach online classes um so you can follow me through that but I you know because of that I, I think I should be in professional also I've been doing pole for like 20 years and I can again that doesn't mean you're any good or or less good than someone who's doing it three years because I remember there was a girl who I was I was doing stuff with like on the EB fit program her program is amazing by the way anybody wants to do advanced pole she's like or any kind of pole she's like the woman to do it by, by the way just putting that out there um not affiliated but I am one of her students still and I do think she's really good but one of her students was like she was going into advanced category and I was just like, I think you should go into pro because she was like, I was like, you know, you're that good. And she's like, oh, thanks so much. I was like, how long are you doing pro? And she said, three years. And I was just like, wow. I was like, okay, natural talent here, people. Put the hands up, you know, <laughs> in the air kind of thing. Because it was just like, whoa. You know, and I was impressed. Like a lot of people might get jealous by that, but I was just like, no, okay, wow. That's amazing. You know, I thought that was such a great achievement for someone who was, you know, just three years into it and they were, they were, you know, acing it basically. And I'm 20 years into it now. Again, I don't know if they had underlying issues or not, but they had some serious talent. And I was super impressed by them. Even the teacher was like, wow, that, like, what you're doing on the pole is really good. Um, so, yeah, I'm also one of Marlo Fiskin's students, she teaches me, yeah, so that's how I'm an invert ready coach, and I'm going to try and do her flow floor teaching program as well, so I'm going to show you guys that as I go through it, 